Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about a specific feature that Cubase offers, and that's the group editing button. Now this video specifically is about a certain issue that you might run into uh, when using this. Uh, so this group editing button, what it does is it groups up any track that is in the same folder uh, will be able to be edited um, as a group. So any change you make to one track is going to make the change to all the tracks within the folder whenever this button is enabled. Now, the, the problem here that I'm going to be addressing is when you get this message here, the tracks in this folder are not completely in sync. Group editing could fail. Um, the reason why it says that is because all of these events here in this folder these pieces here, all of these separate things, these are called events. Um, they are not the exact same length between all of the different tracks. So if they were to be the exact same length, I would click on one of these tracks and all of them would be highlighted. Now you can see that these four are working together because these are all the same length. Uh, these two are the same length. But these are not. These are all completely different here. So that's the reason why you're getting this, or the reason why I'm getting this error message, and why you would be getting it too. And then if I was to try and edit any of these, the only grouped, or the only um, tracks that are going to be edited as a group are the ones that are exactly the same length, as you can see. Now, the way to fix this is to get all of these events in, the, uh, in this folder here to be the exact same length. So there's a couple ways to do that. Uh, the way I'm going to show you is the easiest and less destructive way to do this. Um, one way you could do is select all your, your files and your tracks, and you can export new files, and then have those files uh, re-imported into the project. That's kind of a long way of doing it, and it's using up your... It's just going through a whole processing path that you don't have to do. Um, the way that I'm going to show you here is you select all the items that you want, uh, go under this audio drop-down menu, and you'll see an events to part here. Click on this button, and it turns all of these separate events into one single event. And what this does as well is it allows you to stretch the event as far as you want uh, even though the recording has been only a certain length and what I mean by that is if I didn't use that function I could only stretch this event to as far as the recording has been uh, recorded to once I uh, enable this events to part I can actually stretch this as far as I want now that's important for this what we're doing because what I want to do is stretch some of these to a certain length and uh, probably further than where I've recorded it so I'm going to turn on the snap to grid so that all of these will snap to a specific area these two are the same so I stretch it to here and these four are shorter than these so I'm going to stretch them over here. Now, everything is the same length, and I can click on them, just one of these, and they're all going to be highlighted, and they're all going to be edited in the exact same way. So that's uh, one way to work it. Um, the only downside to this way of doing it is that you can't use the crossfades anymore um, in this part of Cubase or whatever, this part of the project. You can still go in to a separate track and you see how there's separate events here. You can still double click on one of these. Ooh, let's get out of there. You can still double click on one of these and go in and change any uh, fades, cross fades or whatever you have to do. And it'll remain as this one event here. But you can't use the, uh, the crossfades on here. So that's kind of a bummer. 
Um, maybe there is a way to do it and I just don't know about it. Uh, if you know how to do that, leave a comment and I will address that probably with a annotation or something pop up on the screen. Um, now, lastly, what I wanted to show you is to go back to the other mode is when you have everything selected or highlighted, you can click this dissolve part button and then it goes back to how you had it before. So basically what you can do is if you have to do chopping edits and whatnot, what you can do is, uh, let's just do the redo. No, that doesn't work. Okay, so events to part, stretch these, stretch that, stretch that, these and that. Then you can make all your necessary cuts, resize, etc, etc. And then you can click on that, hit the dissolve part, and then in these areas you can actually go in and crossfade. Hmm. There it is. <laughs> now let's see if this all works as a group. So because these are all still the same length, I can use them as a group. Come on, crossfade. Hmm. Why won't you crossfade? She's not crossfading. Well, now. Oh. Psst. Dissolve parts. There we go. Wow. And now you can crossfade as a group. Okay, there. <laughs> a little bit long. So, yeah, I think w with all those uh, different things that I've shown you. You can do all of your necessary editing, all of your um, chopping, gluing, etc. Gluing is this button here. You can glue pieces together. What it does is when you click on this left section, it'll glue the left event with the right event ad uh, directly adjacent to it. Like you saw. Um, do basically all of your editing. And then you can dissolve the parts and do all your crossfading and you should be able to make uh, everything edited as a group the way that you want. If, if, if you're still having trouble and you have questions, leave a comment below and I'll try and address them later on. Uh, this is the way that I've found that seems to work for most occasions, at least as far as uh, all the different situations that I can think of. So yeah, hopefully you guys like that. Um, I kind of just had to learn this myself after I've read uh, Leo Martin's question, got me thinking, and I, because I've, I've had to deal with it before, but I've actually never done it this way. This way is more uh, complete and full if I was, let's say, having trouble with drums and I had a whole bunch of chopped up events like this, and they all kind of got out of sync, then that it would be the method that I would use, is to just group them all together and then start editing uh, from scratch again. So yeah, hopefully you guys like that. Leave a like if you did. Uh, leave a comment if you have a question or uh, just a comment. And hit that subscribe button if you like this kind of stuff. And whenever you guys are going to leave some questions or um, some, some ideas for me to make a video, uh, I take them quite seriously and will hopefully make something out of it into a video if there's enough material, if I feel there's enough uh, material for me to, to, uh, to make a full video out of it. So. Yeah, enough of me babbling. Thanks again, and take care. Bye-bye.